and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a try on style clothing haul. You guys seem to really like the last one of these that I did and I had some shopping to do in anticipation of a vacation. So today we have stuff from Steve Madden, Forever 21, Nasty Gal, Old Navy. So if you're interested in seeing all of the clothes that I picked up and also seeing how all of the items look on me, then just keep on watching. So getting into the accessories first, this is the first accessory item that I picked up. If you know me and you know my style, these aren't very my style, but I figured Chicago's kind of like a trendier, bigger city. So I figured if there was a place to test this style out, that Chicago would be the place. I'm into them. They weren't too expensive. I will link them down below and they seem really good quality. So, and then I've been really into statement belts. The first one is kind of like a Gucci, not a dupe because it's not the exact name, but it's like a Gucci style knockoff. I got this at Winners, which is the same as Marshalls and TJ Maxx in Canada. This is from the Steve Madden brand. I love Steve Madden shoes. They're some of my favorites. It was $16.99, which I think is really good for a belt of this quality. It feels really, really nice. I got mine in a size medium and I did have to add a little belt loop. I just like went in with a knife and made my own belt loop because it didn't fit me otherwise it was too large just a little bit too large but I'm really into it and I cannot wait to wear this in Chicago so the first store that I said I was going to go through is Old Navy so I went to Old Navy for jeans and just like pants in general because I've been gaining a little bit of weight talked about it in my last try on haul and um, I'm trying to be okay with it. For the most part, I am okay with it, to be honest, but it's different and a lot of my pants don't fit me anymore. So I went specifically to get black ripped jeans, which I did successfully, but then I also saw these I love leopard print anything. I'm like very there for the trend, more of like a classy leopard, I feel. It's like a white and then a beige kind of coloring. They're so incredibly comfy. I got mine in a medium. I tried on the size small and they did fit me well but these ones are a little bit bigger and I just feel really comfortable in them. And then if they shrink at all, I don't have any issues with them not fitting me. I love the way they hit. I love that they have pockets. They are so incredibly warm inside and they're just like incredibly comfy. I love the thickness of the band and the stretch that it gives. And they weren't too expensive. They were on sale like 20% off. So I think I got mine for around $27. And then the second thing that I got from Old Navy was the item that I initially went in search for. These are just black, a little bit stretchy, ripped jeans. These are the Rockstar style, which is my absolute favorite style from Old Navy. These are the Rockstar Super Skinnies, which I love. Um, and I got mine in a size six. All of my previous jeans from Old Navy were a size two. So you can imagine why I needed to pick up a new pair of jeans that actually fit me. These were $59.99 because they had a crap ton of new jeans out. So the pricing was elevated on a lot of them. And I believe I got these 20% off. So definitely not a steal for Old Navy pricing, but these are really, really good quality jeans and they're exactly what I wanted. Honestly, I would have paid the same price at another store or higher. It's just that it's Old Navy. I expect them to be a little bit cheaper, but I was okay paying it because I really do love them. The next place that I have clothing items from is Forever 21, and I have four items from Forever 21. So the first thing I have is what I paired those leopard sweats with in my Instagram today, and people seem to really like it. It's just a super basic thick racerback white tank top, but it has this little lace detail under the boob area. Typically, I'm not a fan of these shirts, but with joggers, these joggers, and specifically the Old Navy ones, they just fit so well and it hits in the perfect place. And I got mine in a size medium and there's definitely room, it fits me perfectly. So I love that top and I'll definitely be pairing it with like a lot of casual outfits. The next top that I have from Forever 21 is probably one of my favorite pieces, if not my favorite piece from this entire haul. I have worn this once before, but it just fits me so wonderfully. It's a medium, which I love 
just sizing up and then it feeling okay in my clothing and feeling like it just fits so well. This top is so gorgeous. It's a white eyelet lace style top. I love the sleeve detailing. I love the buttons in the front and then the little corset style ruching in the back. I absolutely love the way it looks. And then the bottom portion of the top just like flirts out a little bit. Definitely a good piece. Wasn't too expensive. I don't have the exact price on it because I have worn it once before, but definitely, definitely check this one out. It is so cute. Then I have three clothing items plus shoes from Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal, if you watched my last haul, is like my absolute favorite online retailer as of now. So the first item that I picked up is kind of funny. It's just this big oversized t-shirt that says Chicago and it has the Chicago landscape. When I saw this Chicago shirt, I thought it would be so cute tucked in to oversized like denim shorts with that Steve Madden belt and these shoes that I'm going to be showing you in a second. That is just like instantly what popped into my head and I'm so freaking excited to put it in place. This is a size medium, but I honestly could have gone with a small for this one. It seems really big and boxy. This is a paisley kind of like, it's giving me like 70s vibes, like peasant style 70s vibes. It is called the paisley print off shoulder mini dress and this is in like a red coral shade and I got mine in a US 8. So I sized up on this one and it fits me absolutely perfectly. I feel so comfortable in this. It's just a very fun dress. I love the pattern. I thought this would be really fun to wear with some platform wedges one night and like some hoop earrings out for dinner or for cocktails or if like my boyfriend and I wanna go to the bar one night really cute just like a kind of dress down casual dress but also still very trendy and stylish and i love the off the shoulder detail and the little tie and the way it comes into a cute bodycon fit so i'm really into this one and i'm super excited to wear it again in chicago then the last piece that i have to show you other than shoes is a very trendy piece i'm sure you've seen every instagram influencer on your instagram wearing some version of this skirt and this is a midi satin skirt classy like tan color with black polka dots i think it's so cute i'm a little bit stumped on how exactly i want to style this so we will see but it fits me perfectly i think it'll look so cute with the um, platform runners that I'm gonna show you in a second. It's definitely like a more trendy Instagram outfit. And this skirt I picked up in a US 6, which is my pant size. So definitely this skirt I would say is true to size. So if you have been looking for a skirt like this, they have a ton of different prints and they fit true to size and the quality is really good and the price is really good as well so I definitely recommend checking out their midi skirts in general but this one is just so cute and then the last thing that I have to show you guys that I've been referencing throughout this whole video these are statement platform white trainers I have been so curious about this trend but also a little skeptical of how it would look on me but because nasty gal is affordable and i know that i really like their pieces i decided to just bite the bullet and purchase a pair for chicago i got these in a size 39 which should be a us 7 or seven and a half because that is my shoe size but i will check and link everything down below i've worn them twice and they're actually surprisingly comfortable so i'm really excited to wear these like sightseeing days that we have more active stuff and still look super cute and trendy that is everything that I have definitely comment down below let me know what your favorite item was that I hauled what you like the most what you're not so into definitely follow me on Instagram at Taylor Elizabeth style I will be posting all weekend on Instagram of my Chicago trip I'll be storing and then also posting a ton of photos in all these outfits I'm sure sorry in advance to my boyfriend who will be helping me take all of those because it's just me and him going Going. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you had an absolutely awesome day. Bye!